Meet me. Welcome back, boys, to another Squirrely Guild Wars, and today we're going to be debuting Emilia. We have five molas in her just to get the turn cooldowns, and this is her stat line. So nothing too fantastic, but should be acceptable. She has a plus 12 sword, unreforged amulet and helm. Kind of slow. We're going to try to make up for that by putting her on Magahara's. So, with the stats out of the way, let's get right into our first match. And I like her because I feel like she's a mix of Soul Weaver and Alots. So, uh, yeah. And the second team, who cares? Alright, let's see if Amelia can do anything here. So first Cerise goes. Kisei goes on Crow, I'm assuming, or Amelia. Goes on Amelia, we resist. Um, we'll open with the S3. We'll get immunity up. Counter set made. Alright, let's see how big this heal is. That Cerise actually has a lot of effectiveness. Uh, not a great heal. Not terrible, though. Okay. Hmm, so let's rip the S3. Push up the team. Okay, we get that attack buff off of Kisei. Uh, should we just kill the Kisei here? Yeah, let's do that. Heal herself a little bit. Ooh, defense broke. Good thing, I killed it. Kill this. Ooh, Amelia is quite squishy, eh? All right, now what does the soul burn do? It just recovers the health of the target, so we don't need that for now. Look at that CR push. That thing's massive. One shots the mead. And with Magahara's, she cuts massively. So it looks like she survives her debut here. Let's move on to this uh, second match. So not bad, not bad. That was a pretty tough team for her too, I think. This one, just the standard land EFCC defense, except they have an elf elf here for some reason. Defense breaks my carrot. Hopefully doesn't hit, land uh, hit my carrot. Oh boy. Landy is an ML unit. Um, okay, let's start chopping the landy. Let's push this thing back. Uh, yeah, let's burn this, try to get some continuous healing up. Really gotta kill the landy, I think. Hmm. Actually, let's work on the elf felt first. Looks like Landy's going to take a bunch of damage anyway. So let's detonate the Landy now. There we go. Nice and clean, although that opener was honestly kind of scary. Okay, let's chop. And then the burn should get her. Bam. Let's move on to the next one. All right, next one. Top one, we're going to use an incredibly reckless team. If this is a tanky Strazy and my Tomo can't one-shot it, I'm actually in pretty big trouble. And the second one, we're going to use Amelia to give S10 a attack buff and blow through that team. Okay. Oh, I don't think I can kill that Strazy. Hmm. It's got Bastion on it. Oh wait, <laughs> never mind. That thing's squishy as hell, even with the Bastion. 
All right, this should be pretty much uh, fine now, although a Tywin can stun me up here. But on defense, he doesn't soul burn ever, so should be fairly reasonable. We'll find out. Uh, we gab here. Let's rip the S3. Can we just kill it? Yep, she just drops dead. S2. Okay, risky team worked out. No holy sacrifice because he had Bastion and we would extinct him anyway, so no problem. Alright, let's try Amelia here now. So let's soul burn this, because it's probably ERML Ken and we don't want any shenanigans. Now, unfortunately, my melee is super slow. That's what I mentioned before. I really need to fix her speed. Don't come near me. But we'll make it work. Let's start off on Charles. I will step on you. It's actually reasonably tanky. And then, let's push Steny. Look at that bump. It's actually really big, and it's not even fully molded. So, uh, yeah, I'm just not going to hit them. You aren't even fit to kiss my feet. Hmm. Should we just bother soul burning this? No, let's just do one. And this might kill Basar, so let's heal. That Malken's about to go up. Death break onto us, ten, eh? Do you know who I am? Um, do we need to do this? No, not really. She still has attack buff. Oh, Al though. Okay, didn't proc anything good. So let's kill Charles. This is what I mean. It's like a soul weaver and an ox lots built in together so now we can bump up s10 a again and it's game over easy peasy all right let's move on to the final one all right unfortunately the stronghold is still not open and i don't know if i can record later so we're just gonna hit all three of the uh fortresses so we have this quick team for top, hopefully it works, and bottom, we're going to try Amelia again. So top one, let's see how this goes. I, didn't want to have to do I think it'll be fine. No Alright, let's push him back. All we have to do is blow up this landy. We gab. Even better. Yeah, this Landy's dead, Deto. So, boom. Uh, the burn will take out Landy, so let's just hit Krow. He does this thing. Landy should promptly explode here. LR Krow gets burned. Nice and easy. Alright, let's move on to Amelia here. They have a lot of damage here, so I'm actually a little bit afraid. Silenced my crow. Yeesh. Um, let's S3 here. Um, what is LQC going to go into? I actually have no idea. Hmm. Oh, Amelia, right? Who's lower? Crow or Amelia right now? I can't tell. Oh, T-Cern. <laughs> okay. So what can we do here? I feel like they blew most of their attack skills. So I actually think we can just uh, push this. And look how much... 
CR push Amelia got. She's almost at the front already. Now we can heal up. I gotta say, though, this heal is pretty small. Um, not a very big heal by any means. I'm gonna push back the LQC. And look at this. The S2 is back already. This is what I mean. She's gonna be able to cycle so hard with her S2 and Magaharas. We get unbuffable on LQC, which is perfect. Now we can just keep tunneling this LQC. We can actually just horse here, but let's just kill it with this. Oh, no bleeds, otherwise she would have died. Oh, it's Sigurd Scythe. Alright. So, we finish her here. Now isn't the time to hesitate. We could just force her, but we won't, so that we can use this again and really showcase Emilia. Let's attack her. And then we soul burn this. And it should kill her. Boom! Alright, and that's our Emilia debut. Let's move on to the summary. All right, so now that we've done that, what are some first impressions? I'll do a full review later. I actually think she's pretty damn good. Like, her gear isn't really that great here, but uh, I think her kit is just really unique. Like, I don't know why people were complaining about her kit so much. They were like, oh, she's boring, etc. I, I don't need a million new mechanics in the game, all right? I like the combination. It's basically half of an Oxlot and a Destina combined. So that makes her unique, right? When you take skills from very different heroes' kits and combine them together, hell, you can use her as an ALOTS. Now, her base speed is not very fast at all, right? Don't get me wrong. But does it really matter? Like, uh, if you're trying to speed contest, like, into certain defenses, you know they're not going to be faster than a certain speed, right? So, I mean, like, 272 speed? I mean, granted, the rest of her stats are ass, but I'm just saying you could do it if you don't have Oxalots for some reason. Because 50% push, more than enough. Like a lot of times, Alots push is 100%, but the vast majority of it is wasted. So ultimately, I think her kit's really fun. I think she'll be really good on Guild Wars offense. Arena, I'm kind of met about. an RTA, it remains to be seen. But I could see her being very powerful into many drafts because... A two debuff cleanse is essentially a full cleanse against a lot of teams. Her moves have short cooldowns, and being able to have your team cut people and whip out a lot of damage is going to be invaluable in RTA. And with Magaharas, because she has so many non-attack skills, she's going to be taking a lot of turns. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Guild Wars. I hope you guys enjoyed this First Impressions. Uh, feel free to experiment with her and let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, peace out, boys.